Whether you're sitting on 10,000 cases, high tier liquid skins, or a bunch of skins worth just a few bucks, today I'm going to show you guys the best way to cash out any item that you're sitting on. So first off, let me show you guys how to cash out knives, high tiers, and just really any other skins worth a couple hundred bucks at least. You've got a lot of options. First off, you could just go on Twitter and sell to any of the content creators or cash traders. Now, the thing about this is that these guys aren't just going to be buying skins because they want to use them. They do it to make a profit. So if you need money right away, you could definitely ask around to see who will give you the best price. And while this could definitely be one of the quickest ways to cash out, you could probably get your money within a couple hours. It's not the best way to get the full value. To get close to the actual value for your skins, you're going to want to head over on the third party sites and you have a lot of options there as well. So let's look at them one at a time. Starting with Skinbit, a newer site co-owned by Zipple, one of if not the biggest cash traders in the world. Now the cool thing I like about this site is that first off they have this promotion where you can get both a 0% buyer fee and a 0% seller fee on a purchase and sales of your choice every month. Normally, their selling fees are 5%, which is already pretty low compared to competitors, and their buying fee is 3%. But if you got a big purchase or just one expensive thing to sell, using that promo code is a great option and probably the best way out there right now to sell one big item. As for other sites, the most popular ones are probably Skinport and Buff163. With Skinport, if you're selling an item under $1,000, the selling fee is 12% or if it's over, the fee drops to 6%, so still more than skin bid, but with Skinport most likely being the most popular, your item will probably sell quicker on there, it just depends whether you want to list it at a higher price because of the fee and have it possibly not sell for that reason, or just list it at the same price you would list that on skin bid and take that bigger hit on the sale fee, so you would lose a bit of money there. As for Buff163, it is the most popular site to sell on, but unfortunately it's a Chinese site, so you can't cash out to real money on Buff unless you're from China. You can either 1. Use your balance to buy other skins on the site, or 2. Sell that Buff balance to somebody most likely on Twitter. Once again, it's also most likely going to be a cash trader, but not only is that process obviously an absolute pain, you have to find someone that wants it, make sure they're trustworthy, it's just a whole mess, and it's really not convenient. So really, I would just stick with selling really expensive items, probably on skin bid, use that 0% fee to your advantage, or if you find somebody on Twitter who offers you a good price, then definitely do it like that. Of course, obviously, don't get scammed. Make sure the person you're dealing with is trustworthy. Make sure they've done big cash deals before, stuff like that. Or just go to a content creator. And those are probably going to be your best options. Now, going back to Buff, the only real reason I would say to use Buff, obviously, if you're selling, if you're buying, it's obviously a great site to use. But if you're sitting on a lot of cases, I'd say they're definitely the best way to get rid of bulk cases other than the Steam Market, but the Steam Market, you run into a lot of issues and here's why. For example, I've got 2,000 CS20 cases. They're 20 cents each on the Steam Market right now, the highest buy order is 19 cents, so after tax, if I sell it 19 cents, I would be getting 17 cents in Steam Balance for each case, which would be great if it was real money, but it isn't. I would just have a bunch of Steam Wallet funds that I would have to use to buy a knife or something expensive, liquid, easy to sell, and then sell that on a third party site. So not only would I take a big hit from paying the overpriced Steam price of the actual item that I would be buying just to sell it on a third party site for probably 25% less, I would also be taking like a 15% fee with just selling those cases on the Steam market. So 35% in fees at least, it would be absolutely crazy. So it's much easier just to go on buff, list all your cases on there, and use the balance you get on buff to buy a knife or liquid item. Easy to sell and for the lowest price out there on buff, and then either sell that on skin bids, skin port, or just to a cash trader and get your money that way. By the way, link to all these websites in the description if you guys want to check them all out. I highly recommend it if you haven't already. Well, finally, if you got a bunch of just random play skins or just random stuff in your inventory worth less than 100 bucks, like you've just done a case opening or something, you've just got random skins in your inventory all worth a few bucks, this is probably the trickiest spot to be in if you want to cash out or honestly just get a good skin because these items are going to take a long time to sell on third party sites unless you sell them for a really undervalued price. So personally, I would say the best option would be to trade all these skins for one easy to sell skin or an investment item. And you could do this with the sponsor of the video, Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is a great way to get the actual value for your skin and not lose a lot of money while trading for skins that look good. You can easily trade the junk you have sitting around for good investment items that can earn you money over time 
or trade for a knife that's been doing incredibly well and easy to sell on a third party site. They're not hard to find. And once again, free $5 bonus on your first trade when you sign up to the site as well. So an easy way to get one liquid item to sell and turn all that junk you have sitting around into actual money. But yeah, besides all that, I hope this video did help you guys out. And if you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It would help me out a ton. But for now, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.